What we'll need today for hanging a picture with two mounts on it are a Sharpie, a pencil, a measuring tape, a roll of blue painter's tape, a stud finder, a level, and your mounting hardware. The type of hardware that you're going to select is based on the weight of the picture that you're hanging, as well as the composition of the wall itself. If you're using drywall, then of course you'll need to use the type of hanger that has a screw with the plastic anchor. Or you can use the hooks that go into the wall in turn just to create your things. If you're using a wall that has a that is wood or has a stud behind it, then use parts from this kit that you can pick up that include your, your nails and your hangers. When you're using the plastic uh, anchors, you'll need to tap using a little screwdriver or a little awl to make your holes in that drywall. Today we're going to be hanging a large picture that has two mount brackets on it. So the first thing you want to do is to locate the, your picture location on your wall and get an estimate of what you want to do and align it by sight first. And then you're going to take the picture down and take some measurements of where you want it to be located, where your mounting hardware will be, as well as the distance from the top of the wall down to where you want the top of the picture to be. In this case, we want the top of the picture to sit up close to the framing of the windows up there. And this down a few inches, so maybe midline of those two top frames. First of all, let's locate where we want to hang the picture. Use a stud finder to determine the type of hardware you'll need. If you have a drywall, I'm gonna mount just to the drywall Remember then that you need to have the screw type that has the shield on it to become an anchor into the drywall. If you have a wood or a stud there, you're going to use the type that you can nail directly into a nail with a hanger. So the stud finder works like this. Okay, now we're going to determine how, at what elevation we want the picture to be hung. So based on having the top frame of the picture to sit between those two window frames, about halfway down from there, we need a dimension from the wall down to the center line of that frame. Remember, just use a pencil to mark your wall so that it won't be able to be seen. We're going to do both sides just to make sure that we're level. Now we're going to take the distance. We're going to take a measurement of the distance from the wall down to where that top is going to be of the frame. that distance and then we're going to add that distance to the distance on the back of the picture to where from the top of the frame to the mounting hardware on the back of the frame. In this case the mounting hardware is already on the picture so we're going to measure from the top of the frame down to that little top of the hook that allows us to be there. And you're gonna record that distance as well. You always want to make sure if there's two mounts on there that they are the same measurement. 
in case you need to take one off and adjust it. So you're going to try both of those. Make sure that both the left and the right mounts have the same dimension. And if they do, yes, then we're good to do the next step. I'm going to take the dimension that you got from the wall down to the top of the frame and add that to that dimension you just got from the top of the frame to that little mounting hardware. And once you have those two measurements combined, then you're going to mark basically the distance down on the wall that we're going to use for our mounting points. Even if they're not in the exact location, that's fine. We're just going to give us the location of that height. Place your picture on a flat surface face down. Locate your brackets that are on the back of your frame. In this case, they're about a third of the way down. Make sure, then looking at the brackets, that the loops, if you have this type, are turned upwards, right? They're gonna hang. Now take a piece of your blue painter's tape and place it across the frame, covering up those mounting brackets. Make sure it holds at both sides. Now, using your Sharpie, mark the location on the tape directly where that hanger is. Now gently remove that tape and that is going to be what we use to mark our wall. Bring your blue tape that you just marked over to the wall that is marked where your picture is going to lay. Align one side. And then you want to make sure that it's level by using your hand level on the tape. You're aligning to the center line of that blue tape and the center line of where your picture will hang. Adjust the tape if needed to make sure it's level all the way across. Once it's on the wall level, just make sure the ends are attached to the wall. It can be loose in the middle. Then we're going to locate those two spots that we put there. We're going to hang our mounting hardware. Using a small screwdriver, we make sure that the screwdriver hole we're going to punch in is smaller than the size of the anchor that you've chosen. Just slightly smaller so that it holds tight. can gently be removed and discarded. Now it's time to attach the hardware to the wall. For our case, since we have a drywall with no stud behind either of these holes, we're going to use the screw trite that has the anchor. First of all, in the hole, insert your anchor. That's a plastic sleeve that will hold the screw. Tap those gently into place. And then insert the matching screws to match that anchor size.
that screw needs to be not fully recessed since that's what's going to hang on the loop on the back of this picture holders. I'm going to pick up the picture. We're going to make sure those little loops are facing upwards so that they catch on the screw. If everything was measured correctly. The picture hangs level in the correct location and it is firmly attached. You can check your level once again with that in case anything needs to be adjusted. Now you are a master at hanging your own picture. <laughs>